All right, good morning everyone and welcome. Let's uh, not delay and let's go ahead and get started. It's 9 a.m. or a minute or two after. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this uh, beautiful almost spring day with some sun after a nice rain. We thank you for bringing us together to take care of county business. We thank you for the trust that's been given to us by the community, and we pray, Lord, that we will use that uh, trust to the very best of our ability and make choices uh, that are in the best interest of all concerned. We pray for our first responders. We pray for our servicemen and women. We pray for the uh, conflict that is going on in Ukraine and ask, Lord, that uh, your will be done over there. We just pray for a protection of the Ukrainian people. We pray for an end to this, uh, to this skirmish. Lord, we just focus our eyes now on this agenda and we turn it over to you in Christ's name. Amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, last day of the month, February 28, 2022, just after 9 a.m., and we are gathered together for our final meeting of Commissioner's Court for the month of February. Item number one is our public comment time. If there is anyone that would like to uh, make a comment or request information on a non-agenda item in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, now is your time. You may still have a chance to address the court on any agenda item. All right, we'll move on to item number two to consider our minutes from our Valentine's Day meeting a couple of weeks ago. Make a motion we approve them. Motion to approve that set of minutes is made by Commissioner Parchman. Second. Second by Commissioner Parker. Any comments, discussions? All in favor of approval, say aye. Aye. Report from commissioners regarding ro road work status is item number three. I'm going to start with Commissioner Fitch and just jump around. All right, let's jump around then. <laughs> so we've been uh, patching our roads, of course, and then we had some pretty rainy, nasty weather last week, and they had to go out and sand some bridges. Uh, we've been uh, doing a lot of side cutting, and we had some, uh, week four last, we had some uh, soft spots we we dug them out and we uh, filled them in got them packed really good and let them set and we paved over those uh, that's about it commissioner applewhite well, we put in a culvert over sugar hill a couple of week a, lot, a week before last and uh, been uh, got some coal mix in, in pothole and and, uh, and have trying to finish up all the uh, equipment on the oil and everything we like two machines so we'll be ready to go Good deal. Commissioner Parchman. <clears throat> We've been patching potholes, uh, doing lots of side cutting and uh, trimming trees, and we had to sand a key bridge, uh, one of our bridges on uh, County Road 1200 due to the weather the other day. And, uh, okay. Commissioner Parker. Uh, we've been been uh, patching, uh, had several trees that we've had to had to take down, and and uh, got a few more that were, uh, they finally got our uh, bucket truck back together at it prefer so we're gonna uh, I've got a few more that we're gonna try to try to get down before the weather gets good enough that we can start doing some serious wor road work and uh, uh, we had a oh, poor of us was in college station last week had a good week down there learned a few things and talked to a lot of a lot of other commissioners and all. And that was your annual major commissioner training that's uh, mm -hmm. that's held each year for about three days. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that's all. They always do a good job. That's put on by. I don't guess it's really TAC. I guess it's just the VG Young. The VG Young, but it's put on by uh, Texas Forestry Service. Texas so, Forestry. Yeah, service. the the or the Extension Service actually is who who actually puts it on. All right, thank you all. Item number four, consider and possibly approve accepting a donation 
from MFAB, IMFAB, and just for those of you that may not know the, what that is, that's uh, associated with Best Fender Products, and the owner, Mr. O.C. Ross, MFAB, is located out there at the intersection of 2348 and Highway 67, a relatively new, great-looking building, and they do some uh, very interesting fabrication work, specialty work out there. And Mr. Ross, the owner of that uh, business, you'll remember Buddy McCollum, previously associated with that. And I understand that Buddy has retired from that business and turned it over to Mr. Ross, but he is taking uh, an opportunity here uh, to do something nice for the county. And he is uh, willing and able and ready to make a donation of $1,639.70 for the purchase of four new body-worn cameras from Safety Vision for both constables' offices. Ray, what do you want to tell us about this? Well, the, uh, if you'd come up to the mic so everybody can hear on that's watching our YouTube channel. Uh, back when I first started at the constable's office, uh, they made a donation to us. At the time, it was around 3000 something, I believe. Uh, and those body cameras are just worn out now. So I talked with Mr. Ross and he wanted to make another donation. So this time we're just going to get four cameras solid need. We've kind of cut back on our reserves. So uh, just just wanted to see if I accepted a donation from them again to take care of that for us. Looks like this is uh, safety vision. These are priced at $479 each with a four uh, unit purchase, customer loyalty discount, that comes up to a net $1,639.70. And we certainly appreciate Mr. Ross and his generosity doing this for you. I asked him if he wanted to come today for the recognition, and he said no, he just wanted to help. That's all. He's just a right. real humble guy. So. Yes, he is. Any questions here for Ray? Need your uh, approval then to accept a donation. Sounds kind of funny that we have to approve accepting money, but we do. I'll make a motion. Motion is made by Commissioner Applewhite to approve this uh, receipt of this donation. Second. Second, Commissioner Fitch. All in favor say aye. 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 What would you prefer, Barbara? I think, I think it, it needs to come to the county. Yes, sir. Okay. And we'll get you a purchase order down there in the Okay. All right. Item number five, consider and possibly approve a racial profiling analysis report from the Titus County Attorney's Office. And I think that this will probably should become something we'll do on a regular basis in the future and according to Mr. Lindsay and he'll probably explain this a little more we're not really approving this we're reading it into the minutes That's clarify that for me because I've learned something here that I did not know about um, each police agency in the state of Texas has to submit this uh, racial profiling report uh, it's done before March the 1st and our area coordinator for that, that handles all the different uh, aspects of uh, certifying agencies and stuff like that is the one that told me this time because I've, I've done these every year and uh, because we don't stop traffic at the county attorney's office for any reason it, we're exempt uh, and but he told me he said it doesn't matter if you're exempt or not so that needs to be read into the commissioner's court minutes and I guess uh, if uh, some outside person wanted to get a copy of that report, they wouldn't necessarily have to go to the agency to do it. They could come to the county clerk's office and, and get it there. And that's the purpose for that. Uh, I, I've done these reports for 12 years. First time I've ever been told that it needed to be read into the minutes of the commissioner's court meeting. So that's why I turned it over to y'all. Uh, if you don't stop traffic, uh, which I know Ray doesn't, uh, Durant doesn't, then it's a, it is simply a an exemption report that you put, takes about five minutes to fill out. But it has to be done every year. And if you don't do it, they will dog you to death until you get it done. And, and looking at the, the layout of this report, just again for some education that you guys should know when you hear about this in the future, uh, an agency that does make stops would basically they have to keep 
tally of all of their stats so that one could look at it and go, well, why are you picking on X race or why are you hardly ever stopping folks like this? Well, I'm not sure. I guess they would have an answer for that. But sure. this, this theoretically is a report that shows, yep, there are, you're about in balance with the population of the right. of the county or the city or whatever your jurisdiction is. Uh, but I get, I, we've been doing this for years, and I guess somebody looks at this, I hope. Right. Well, I know like with the PD, uh, they do a lot of traffic. And uh, I mean, it's a pretty lengthy report that he has to give to city council over there. The chief does. So, but but these reports are pretty pretty simple in that you don't, uh, especially if you're exempt, you don't really have anything other to do say that you don't do traffic. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, council's office, we do make traffic stops, but it's not our primary function. That's why we're exempt from that. So we can make traffic stops. It's just not a. So it has to be a primary function for you to be required to do this. Well, we don't want you to ro racially profile anyway, okay? <laughs> well, again, I've got this styled as an action item. We're actually, uh, this time, let's move to approve, if you're okay with this, accepting this report and entering it into the minutes and that's what we'll do in the future. I've also got, I had a report turned in by Ray after I'd had the posting done. I think I'll check with the sheriff's office and see if they're going to have one and we can read both of those into the minutes at the next meeting. Make a motion we accept the report. Motion by uh, Commissioner Parchman. Second. Second Commissioner Parker, all in favor, say aye. aye. Paul, aye. thank you for doing this. Right. this. Again, this is something you've been doing. You have to do it. This is just the first time you've asked us to read it into the minutes. Okay. Thank you. Item number six, consider and possibly approve the application to cancel the Holly Oaks subdivision. You're used to approving subdivisions, and I think we've done this one other time while I've been in office, we've, we've canceled a subdivision. But why would you want to cancel a subdivision? Dean Jennings is here, and he's going to help us to understand what's going on and why this family has asked to be able to cancel the Holly Oaks subdivision. And they have really gone about this the right way. They've hired an attorney. Uh, they have posted in the newspaper. But, Dean, if you'll kind of give us a background on what's going on here, I'll, I'll reassure everyone that we have gone through the process properly. Yes. Well, we just want to cancel that. To, basically, we're going to sell the land, and it wasn't proper to sell it to the people that we're going to sell it to, and then we have to figure out how to do this for themselves so they could build their house property on it. But uh, they have never used the subdivision. They didn't check when it got the subdivision approved to see if the utility would work, and there's no water for that kind of subdivision out there. So it's just been sitting there for years, not being used. No property was ever sold out of the subdivision. So. To do it, he just thought it was the right thing to do for the people that we're going to probably transfer the land to recent. Who actually owns this property and how are they related to you? My mother, Audrey Robertson Alexander, she goes by Audrey Alexander now, but she owns the property and I have an affidavit. It's uh, notarized by her asking for that if you need a copy. I, I, I think I've got that okay. as well. And this was a uh, plat that included how many, what does this look like, about 25 yeah. lots? or 19.9 acres. And, and how many How many lots were on here? I believe there was about 25 or so. 25 or so. It was half acre lots is what it come down to. Yeah, these all range in size from 0.65 up to a large of about 0 0.78. Yes. And this was done under Judge Crooks. This was done back in 2005. 
And back then, we didn't have subdivision regulations that would have governed this. And if, you know, one of the things that we added to our subdivision regulations was the requirement that you prove that you do have access to utilities. And so we don't have that here. It wouldn't make sense to be selling these lots. You know, and un that's another thing we were trying to avoid is an unscrupulous developer selling lots, uh, let, making somebody believe that they could build a home here only to find out later on that they couldn't get water. So in order to cancel a subdivision, this is addressed in the local government code, section uh, 232, and there are some specific steps that have to be gone through. Primarily, it says the commissioner's court will publish a notice of application for cancellation. The notice must be published in the newspaper, in the English language, in the county for at least three weeks before the date on which action is taken on the application. The court shall take application on an application at a regular meeting. The published notice must direct any person who is interested in the property and wishes to protest to appear at the time of the specified notice. We have a, we did do that. In fact, I'm, I actually contacted the uh, newspaper after I was provided with some specific wording for that. Uh, notice is hereby given. Audrey Alexander, formerly known as Audrey Robertson, submitted an application to the court, Commissioner's Court, Texas, uh, to cancel Hollyoaks subdivision, which is located approximately two miles southeast of Mount Pleasant, Texas, near County Road 4720. Any person interested in the property who wishes to protest the proposed cancellation shall appear at the regular meeting of the Commissioner's Court on the 28th day of February at 9 a.m. Central Time. Doesn't look like we have anybody here who is protesting this. I do have the uh, the uh, application here from, and I, if that's the one that she signed, then I would like to get that because the one that I have was not signed yet. But uh, again, and who was the attorney? What was the relationship here? Of he's your son-in-law. That was Andy Patillo down in Waco and he has kind of walked me through this process and he's handled all the details on this. So it appearing to me that they have followed all the requirements to cancel this subdivision and you understand the purpose and reason behind it and the fact that if it was left as a subdivision, they really aren't uh, legitimate lots of a legitimate subdivision if you can't provide water to those lots. And maybe you could drill a well or something, but that's probably not what we want to do and this family would like to sell this as just a lump sum of 19 acres. Well, it, half of it to start with, the gentleman can okay. afford all of it, and I told him to give him the, the right to sell it at some future yes. time, whether it's all or some of it, yes. and if somebody ever did, did decide to subdivide it, well, they would have to meet our current requirements. Yes. All right. Anyone have any questions for Dean? If you're okay with this, and I am okay with this, uh, we, again, we did post that properly three weeks in a row in the newspaper. Make that motion. Motion is made to cancel the Hollyoaks subdivision. That motion is made by Commissioner Applewhite. Second. Second by Commissioner Parker. All in favor say aye. 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 Dean, thank you very much, and uh, I'll, I'll get the necessary paperwork signed and filed with our clerk's office. All right? We appreciate it. Will you leave me that signed copy? Oh, that, this is the one. Is this just a copy? Yes, sir. Do you have the original? Uh, I don't know that it matters. I don't know that it matters. Well, she has the original, so I'd have to get back with her because I gave her all this. I think we're okay. All right, we are down to our uh, approval of oral and written reports of county officials, item number seven. Make a motion we approve the report. Motion to approve said report is made by Commissioner Parchman. 
Second. Second by Commissioner Applewhite. Any discussion, comments on those usual reports? All in favor of approval, say aye. 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 <clears throat> Item number eight, consider and possibly approve the treasurer's report, which has been provided. Make a motion we approve the report. Motion to approve the treasurer's report is made by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Second by Commissioner Parker. <coughs> Any discussion or comments? All in favor of approval, say aye. 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 Item number nine, approve budget amendments, and today there are no budget amendments. So we will pass over that to item number 10, sign pay orders and approve payments. Make a motion we pay our bill. Motion is made by Commissioner Parker to pay uh, this last round of bills. Second. Commissioner Parchman is second. All in favor say aye. 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 Item number 11, closing comments. Um, the only thing that I would have is for those of you that were, were not here at our meeting uh, on Friday, we did have a brief meeting. We did uh, confer with our attorney, uh, of which we have several that represent not only Titus County, but many others on the opioid um, litigation. Uh, we did approve that settlement. That was a single agenda item that required an executive uh, session there on Friday. We came out of that executive session and we did approve that. That set of minutes will be at, available at our next meeting. And at that meeting, I also mentioned uh, some sad news, the passing of former Commissioner Bob Fitch and father of our Commissioner John Fitch and the family uh, had a celebration in the Dallas area over the weekend. Uh, but for those of you that remember, Bob was uh, one heck of a guy, an outstanding uh, commissioner. And Bob is now with his Lord and Savior, and we celebrate that. But just keep the family in mind, as this is nonetheless a, a tough time. And losing a dad is tough. Losing a husband is tough. And he wore a lot of other hats besides that. So, John, our condolences are extended to you and your mom and the rest of the family. And I think that that's all I have. I'll start with Commissioner Parker. I'd just like to send our condolences to the Fitch family. Thank and, you. Uh, that's, that's all I've got. Okay, Commissioner. It's the same thing for John and his family. That's it. Thank you all. Commissioner. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for condolences and prayers and hugs and everything. It's great to be from. Uh, Titus County where you have a lot of friends that are your blessings and it was it was a wonderful sweet sweet deal and uh, I just uh, real appreciative of all the love that was shown and thank everybody thank you sir my faithful assistant James Webster has reminded me do you have a vested interest no, in that sir. or something? No, that tomorrow is your last chance to vote. We've got some guys sitting here in the audience that, uh, you know, they, this is the last stretch here. And there are some nervous, anxious, excited uh, folks. But if you have not taken advantage of your opportunity to early vote, we sure hope that you will go to the polls tomorrow in one of many, many locations that we make available to everyone in the county to go and vote. I think the polls start at 7, is that right? Seven. And they will close at 7. And um, then I think for those that are interested, there's typically a gathering at the Justice Center. Ray, you'll have that all nice and some uh, hot hors d'oeuvres and drinks <laughs> and get a, you also get a chance to look at our nicely remodeled justice center so keep that in mind but vote take, take advantage of your right to vote 
I think that's all we have uh, today. If there is nothing else, I'll entertain a motion. To, oh, well, Joan, welcome back. Joan's been out, and we're grateful to have her back. It's been a real mess without you here, Joan, a real mess. Now, yes, the clerk's <laughs> office has done a good job. They haven't bothered me at, at all. It's, it has run smooth in your absence, but we're glad to have you back nonetheless. If there's nothing else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Make that motion. Motion by Commissioner Applewhite. Second. Second by Commissioner Parchman. All in favor, say aye. Aye. And I've got these forms for your signature, and I'll make sure there's nothing else here that I need. So here is. Uh,